the one person who really took that study that made it scientific was Archibald Sharp, and he published a work that combined other people's work and his own. The volume has all the math, it has disc wheels, it has smooth shapes identical to what's being sold today as high-tech wheels. It had all the suspension bikes. Uh, full suspension and rear suspension were around by then. The seat with the split down the middle so you don't have pressure on certain places was around. The seat that had two pads that would toggle. Back then they had tangent spoke, they had radial spoke, they had tangent spoke on one wheel, radial on the other. All those things were around a long time ago and, and were lost for a long time. And this book has it all with all the math to support every aspect of it. MIT Press in the 1970s, uh, as I understand it, they wanted to come up with a good definitive book on the science of bicycle manufacturing and engineering. And all they could do was reprint the 1896 book because there's nothing to add. They didn't retype that, they just got a copy and scanned it and printed it. And that was the latest in the 1970s, was the same as the latest in the 1890s.